Welcome back everyone to another episode of Scouting Run. Now I know technically that the scout class doesn't exist anymore, so this is more of like a core class, a scout class, legends class, anything a small transformer scale. Today we're going to be talking about Transformers Legacy United core class Energon Megatron. Wow, that's a lot of qualifiers. This guy is so cool. I'm so glad we're getting some form of Energon representation in the main line. Check this guy out. He is so good and so very detailed for the size. Now, the green on the wings does kind of throw it off just a little bit, but given that it's Energon, I'm not really complaining. But yes, he is a fantastic, more of a Galvatron sort of look to him. But he is, in fact, Megatron. Accessory-wise, he comes with the tank-sword combo that he came with in his bigger form. Um, apparently, this is his armada self with the sword on the end. Sure, it's phallic. Why wouldn't it be? I didn't read any of the Energon comics. Did that ever get explained? You can store it on the side as I had it, just a little circle there. Give him his arm-mounted cannon, or turn it around, you do have the sword. It is all in one color plastic, so it's kind of meh. Um, but it's an accessory on a core class toy. Of course it's going to be one color. And of course it's going to be kind of black. What are you talking about? These shoulder spikes can be removable. Oh, sure. Huh? You can give them to him as handheld blasters. Though, for some reason, the peg isn't wanting to hold it very well on this side. There we go. So it is kind of a stiff fit, but it's a thing you can do. Um... If you want to, I won't, I won't judge. Articulation wise, his head does swivel side to side. It is a little hard to get in there. Um, at least with my pudgy fingers, it's hard to get in there and turn his head. The arms are on a swivel. They go up about that far. Probably if you remove those, you can um, get it to go a little bit higher. But they are, they can go forward like that. Again, there's a lot of bulk here. It's a lot of stuff clashing into other things. The arms, as you see, are on a ball joint. Nothing at the wrist, because it's a core class. Nothing at the waist, um, in terms of a swivel. There is a hip, so it's forward that far. Backward, only that far. Kind of sucks, but due to the bulk of his backpack, there's not a lot you can do. He does have a thigh swivel and a knee bend, a really decent knee bend. So you can give him like one of those flying knee kick kind of things. And his toes point, but that's more for transformation. Another thing I forgot to mention with these uh, shoulder spikes is you can change the direction so they can fold down. Like they could on the big guy, they could fold down. These ones just peg off and peg back on. The transformation is pretty simple, but for a core class, it's absolutely fine. Now, admittedly, I don't engage with a lot of the core class. I'm more of a deluxe and Voyager leader type situation. That's really interesting. Whatever. But I do enjoy a core class, and it was Energon Megatron. Of course I'm going to buy it, because it's Unicron Trilogy. We're finally getting Unicron Trilogy toys in the main line of Transformers, and I'm absolutely loving it. Why even bring it up? Am I right? The ship mode, whatever it is, it's a flying space whatever thingy, as Steve calls it, is quite nice. It is a nice representation of whatever he was in Energon, but it's quite hollow uh, in terms of the cockpit here, but that's understandable. It is only tiny. And I'm sure you can get somebody to come along and make a thing you can plug in, at least this section, to fill it out if you really wanted to. It is just pretty visible, like his legs and his head and his torso and everything, but 
What really gets me are the fists. The fists are just poking up, you know, they want you to have them flying like that, which is okay, but I prefer it more angled, you know, like an attack mode kind of thing like that. Another thing that you can do is you can take the gun cannon tank sword and store it on there. Just those two little tabs plug into two little holes there. So you can have it like that, or you can have it the other way. So he has like a jet booster. Do I recommend Galvatron? Megatron, sorry. <laughs> do I recommend Core Class Energon Megatron? Yes, of course I do. If you can find it for the right price. Now, for the price I paid for mine about $10. <sighs> Remember when deluxes were $10? Stop it, get some help. I think it's a good value for money. I honestly really do. Um, not because I'm biased for Energon or anything like that, because. It's one of the Unicron trilogy I skip over. I just go from Armada to, or to, from Armada to Cybertron. I just skip Energon altogether. But I do like the toys. I do, I really do enjoy the Energon toys in, in terms of what they, what they are and what they can do. Yeah, I'd say pick them up if you can find them for a good price. Like I said, I paid 10 bucks for it off Big Bad Toy Store. I think that's a really good price. Anything more than that, like on eBay or anything like that, maybe wait maybe to see if you can find it in the wild or buy it off Big Bad Toy Store. As far as I know, they still have a lot of quantities of this guy. So yeah, that has been the next edition of Scouting Run. Hopefully you guys stay tuned toward the end. Um, I thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Rocky Miss Prime with Core Class Energon Megatron saying hope you guys have a good day, good night, whenever you're watching this. Take care, everyone.